Brainiac's armor made him impervious to harm. From the outside, at least. He'll survive this minor brain surgery. He just won't be able to control his skull ship anymore. Crisis averted, I can get back to searching for my missing mentor, Professor Ray Palmer. Last year, Palmer dove headfirst into the microverse, a subatomic dimension he himself discovered. In case he got lost, he left behind a trail of clues and designated an asthmatic research fellow, yours truly, to follow them. That trail's gone cold. Which is why I'm upgrading my bio belt with Brainiac's technology. It's my turn to go subatomic. I'm not the strongest or bravest hero out there. But Professor Palmer, he's an Einstein level genius. He trusted me with his astonishing legacy. The Atom is not going to let him down. Brainiac stole Atlantis. For that, I could have thanked him. But that wasn't enough. Arthur Curry's kingdom had to be wiped from history. Forgotten. Lost. As it should be. I found just the place guarded by Earth's most savage murderers. Once upon a time, Arthur Curry killed my father. Now that I've killed his kingdom, all that remains is to kill the king himself. Only then will I consider my father's murder avenged. Only then will I rest. And what of Aquaman? Does he come forward to avenge his own people? No. He hides behind an alien and an Amazon. Let him. It won't save him. Compared to that alien freak Brainiac, these three will be fish for the slaughter. And when they're dead, the world can thank Black Manta. The Kaluan Brainiac was a genius without peer. But I am a god. I could not allow an errant intellect to steal the object of my vengeance. Superman refused to submit to my will, denied my conquest of Earth, and killed my son, Kalabak. He suffered and perished, but not until I told him exactly what would happen after he died. Kara zor proved quite resilient, but eventually, Dasad broke her. She is a powerful weapon, a natural leader for my new invincible breed of parademons, cloned from the DNA of Superman himself. Superman robbed me of my blood. Now, our score is settled. That is the will of Darkseid. When it comes to magic, even Brainiac has a lot to learn. He thought he could collect the power of the Enchantress, so I let him have it. And sure enough, the old witch ate him alive. It was over. Brainiac was beaten, but even more miraculously, the Enchantress was gone. After years of that witch feeding on me, torturing me, corrupting me, I'm free. No more aliases, no evil alter egos. I can just be June Moon. I got my old job back at the design studio. I even have a date this Friday. Piece by piece, I'm rebuilding my old life. Once I've... <coughs> no! Get out of my head! <sighs> oh, June, June, June. Did you really think you could dispose of me so easily? Brainiac's collection was a revelation. You and I have been thinking far too small. Why corrupt one Earth when we can bewitch all 52? Somehow Brainiac shanghaied me on a slow boat to this universe. 
bastard had big dreams about me being in his collection. Guess what I thought about that idea? Taking Brainiac out certainly got folks' attention. I got a lot of offers to stick around, but I got bored quick. Megalomaniac villains and tights-wearing heroes really aren't my thing. What's it they say? Home is where the heart is? But when I got back, things just weren't the same. The bureau felt too small. It was time for me to hit the road. Africa was totally the right call. Wide open spaces suit me. Clean air, starry skies, and not surprisingly, more than a few monsters to hunt. All in all, makes for a pretty good life. Though I had defeated Shinnok, his corruption of Earthrealm's Jinsei had cracked the barrier between my realm and this one. I began having visions of Brainiac's collection of this Earth. I realized that Brainiac's actions would soon destroy the barrier among all the realms. All life would be annihilated. With Brainiac dispatched, I tended the injured. His wounds too great. Kent Nelson could not be saved. But as he died, he warned me. The Armageddon I had foreseen was the design of the Lords of Order. By destroying reality, they would return the multiverse to a perfectly ordered state, obliterating chaos. To defeat this powerful magic, the Justice League turned to this Earth's most proficient wizards and sorcerers. I gladly accepted the invitation to join them. The Lords will be contained. Order and chaos will remain in balance. Life as we know it will continue. That felt good. Titanium composite hollow point bullets with a C4 kicker. Fastest, most explosive ammo in the world. I made them myself. With the invasion over, Bruce and Superman started fighting again. I wasn't down with either of them. On the one hand, the regime's right. Scumbag murderers and rapists deserve to die. But on the other hand, I'm no fan of government authority, especially the dictatorial variety. So while the world's finest fight each other, I fight for the people. The weak, the innocent, anyone who can't protect themselves. When they cry out for a savior, I'll answer. As for the criminals who threaten them, they need to know that their actions have consequences. That the Red Hood is coming for them. Back in the day, this victory would have called for a party at Titan's Tower. The music, the laughter, the mustard with pizza on bottom. But these days, I have no party mates. Raven became a servant of Trigon. Cyborg? He joined the regime. Beast Boy has been missing so long, I must assume he is dead. Dick Grayson? He was my star-crossed soulmate. He will never be replaced. And now, all that's left is me, last of the Titans. Dick would not approve of the moping. I only overcame the loss of Tamaran by coming to Earth and forging new bonds of friendship with the Titans. It is incumbent upon me to repeat history, to forge new bonds of friendship. Maybe they're not my Titans, but the only way I know to honor my lost friends is to make sure that no matter what, there will always be Titans together. After all, I beat Brainiac. That was a victory. And victories call for mustard parties. I 
I arrived in this realm accidentally. Driven here by magic unleashed as I forced Kotal Khan's retreat from Earthrealm to Outworld. I was seeking a route home when Brainiac attacked. I could not allow this vile invader to add this planet or myself to his collection. In gratitude for my flawless victory, Batman offered the Justice League's aid. While I waited on him to unlock the magic of interrealm travel, I provided valuable combat training to the youngest members of his order. But the spells that were devised went awry. Instead of opening a portal to Earthrealm, they opened a gateway to the Phantom Zone. Now, I fight to re-imprison Superman and his followers. They would not have been freed, but for my accidental arrival in this realm, I am now duty-bound to protect it, as if it were my own. So you're like totally wondering where we vanished off to, right? It was Krang, Mikey. He sent- Raph, they might not know who Krang is. Donnie? Sure, Leo. Krang is a Neutromian criminal turned intergalactic despot from Dimension X. He's known- Yeah, what he said. Anyway, we're the biggest heroes in our universe, right? That's why Krang tried booting us to Dimension X, to make way for his invasion. But instead, we ended up on a different Earth. Way awesomer! Krang sent us across the multiverse to a universe vibrating on a unique frequency, which is a macrocosmic constellation of. Enough with the techno babble, Donnie. Chill, Raph. <sighs> anyway, it shouldn't have surprised us that this new universe had its own intergalactic despot. We knew we had to stop Brainiac or else we. Just skip to the best part, bro. Once we whoop Brainiac, I asked that kooky clown lady where to get a good pizza, and she's all, Let me get you, Toidos, the super salty pizza. I swear on my life that pizza was the scrum diddly. Krang thought he beat us, but in the end, his whole plan backfired. The super salt on Harley's pizza? Edible nanotech, called 5U93R. It temporarily augmented our physiques and durability. Plain English? We became Ultra Turtles. Krang didn't stand a chance. Yeah, you could say this little adventure gave our turtle power one shell of an upgrade. Oh, oh my lame. That was so oh, lame. Oh, epic oh, fail. Even Shredder's Are you serious? That was terrible. Whatever, dudes. That was funny.